Jiu-Jitsu athletes, use this one foreign training method to maximize your strength for Jiu-Jitsu and enhance your performance on the mat. By using this one special training method, you can maximize your raw strength so that way you are better equipped to win more matches and get injured less. What's going on guys? My name is Josh Setledge and I am the BJJ Strength Coach. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the max effort method and how you can use this foreign training method to build real strength on the mat so you can be better equipped to win more matches in jiu-jitsu and decrease your risk of injury. Before we dive into the max effort method, I did wanna let you know that if you're interested in learning more about how to get strong for jiu-jitsu so you can ultimately win more matches and get injured less, I have a free four-week strength program that I'd love to send you. All you gotta do is just click the link in the description below. Below. The max effort method is a method of training that's featured within the conjugate system. If you want to learn more about how I use the conjugate system with jiu-jitsu athletes, you can watch my recent video by clicking here. The conjugate system was a system of strength and athletic training that was originally developed by the Olympic strength coaches of the Soviet Union. This foreign system of training focuses on using three different types of training methods to maximize strength and athleticism. The max effort method, the dynamic effort method, and the repetition effort method. The conjugate the conjugate system was further developed and popularized in the United States by Louis Simmons from Westside Barbell. The max effort method focuses on using maximal or heavy loads to further develop strength and force production. As an athlete, improving your max level of strength has positive benefits in all other areas of your athleticism. You may have heard me say this before and I'll say it again, nobody ever lost a match in Jiu Jitsu because they were too strong and no one ever got injured because they were too strong. When your base level of strength increases not only are you going to be more efficient in all of your movements on the mat, but you'll be able to apply more force into every submission, every sweep, every takedown, and every guard pass, all while decreasing your risk of injury on the mat. And you may be asking yourself, how do I use the max effort method to help with my jujitsu? The max effort method is essentially your heavy training in the gym. The max effort method can be broken down into lower body sessions and upper body sessions. And during these max effort sessions, you're gonna pick one compound exercise and work up to a max or a top set. Depending on your overall training goals and where you're at in your jujitsu competition prep, your top sets can range from a one to five rep max. These max sets or top sets should all be at about a nine out of 10 intensity when it comes to difficulty. What we're aiming for is to get a nine out of 10 intensity on a specific exercise and strain against some big weight for that day. Depending on your recovery, where you're at in your training, and where you're at in your jiu-jitsu competition prep, you may not always be hitting a max or setting a PR every max effort session. But when you're doing max effort training, you wanna work up to a max or a top set for that particular training day. Each week, you should have one max effort training session for the lower body and one max effort training session for the upper body. Some of my favorite compound lifts to use during max effort training sessions for the lower body are gonna be the Zercher box squat and the sumo deadlift. My favorite compound lifts for max effort training of the upper body are going to be the floor press and the Z press. If you're gonna be incorporating max effort training, I do need to give you these two warnings. Warning number one, don't miss lifts. When working up to a max, keep in mind that you're working up to a technical max. Gradually work up and wait for that selected compound exercise and continue working up in heavier weights until you hit any point of technical breakdown. This will not only help decrease your risk of injury, but will also lead to greater strength gains over a longer period of time. Warning number two, don't always do the same thing. The law of accommodation states that the body will need a different stimulus on a regular basis to continue making positive progress. In order to continue getting stronger, you'll need to regularly change up the compound lifts that you're using for your max effort training sessions. If you're new to this style of training, I would suggest picking one compound exercise for your max effort training for the upper body and one compound exercise for the lower body. Use these compound exercises for three weeks and then rotate in two new exercises, one for the upper body, one for the lower body. As you gain more experience, you'll be able to play around and find out which exercises your body adapts best to and that are gonna allow you to continue getting stronger and improving your performance on the mat. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh Selledge and I am the BJJ Strength coach, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below on if you've heard of the max effort method before and if you're currently using it in your jujitsu strength and conditioning. To learn more about how you can get stronger so you can win more matches and get injured less, click the link in the description below and you can download a free four-week strength program. Catch you guys later. Peace.